Hey everyone, it's Lindsay at Close Call Sports. I'm still sick, so let's play a game. It's that New York Times You Be the Ump game. With Major League Baseball considering adoption of an automated strike zone system as soon as 2024, this could be one of the last World Series with umpires calling balls and strikes. Not exactly. So Major League Baseball pretty much has realized that full automation robo-ump is not the way to go, and they're probably going to go with the challenge system, which we suggested back in 2017. And when we suggested it, Team Mac wrote, there should be three challenges per team. You win the challenge, you keep it. You lose the challenge, you lose it. Sort of like how replay works now. Sure enough, MLB's testing it in the minor leagues with how many? Three challenges per team per game. So good job, Team Mac. And MLB, why aren't you paying us royalties? Seriously. This is the strike zone. If any, oh my gosh, that's a pathetic strike zone. Look at that. The width of the strike zone is the width of home plate. Kind of. Let's drill it down. The center of the baseball is the actual data point, so you have a radius to either side and top down as well. So really, you could take that ball and move the data point one full radius off of the edge of home plate, and you'd have a width contact with the edge of home plate there, which means that the width of the strike zone plus one radius plus another radius, that is the true width of the strike zone, not just home plate. And then the height of strike zone is defined by the batter's stance, that's true. It's the top of the shoulders and the top of the uniform pants, that is the midpoint, and it's usually diaphragm, ow, diaphragm high, a little lower than that. And the bottom is just below the kneecaps, and it's not kneecaps, it's the hollow beneath the knee. Below the hollow, beneath the knee. That is the bottom of the strike zone. Aaron Judge, where you at? All right, it's time to test your skills. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. I haven't been on the field doing this in, when, when did I get concussed? Colin McHugh, Kevin Playwecki, I, I, I do, do I need to know this? Braves, is there gonna be a quiz? That's a ball, that's low. Oh my gosh, I got it right. This is nerve wracking. And I see so many mistakes with the with the simulation itself, but this is nerve-wracking. And then they show you the pitch. Manfred has said he hopes to have an automated... The thing about Manfred that I find fascinating is years ago he said, I don't think that the computers are good enough. And now he says the computers are good enough. Nothing has fundamentally changed other than the fact that there are more contracts with tech companies now. That's outside. I don't even need the plywood two-dimensional, not even real batter to tell you that. Some of the problem, again, this strike zone should extend all the way back. That little triangle counts too. Triangles have feelings too, and there's no catcher there. So here's, here's some problems. There should be a catcher here blocking me out on all lower outside pitches. I should be working in the slot. My head height is possibly okay. I'm gonna zoom in, of course but I should be angled to the left on the inside half. And the reason that you are angled on the inner half or in the slot is because it lessens the likelihood of umpire injury when you're in the slot on foul balls and things like that. Second, it's a consistent view and consistency breeds familiarity, which breeds more accuracy. That's a strike. It's a high strike, but that's a strike. Yeah. I don't think that this is this plywood piece of batter changing in response to the height of the strike zone, or is this just completely random? The high strike used to be called a lot less frequently, and in most recent years there's been more of an emphasis because computers are here to grade umpires after the game. Uh, there's been more of an emphasis to call to the box, so to speak, which means that you are seeing more high strikes called. See, there you go. Every pitch, every game. And it talks about ump scorecard. I like ump scorecards for trend analysis. I think that their methods show the error accuracy a little bit low. But on the other hand, MLB's internal zone evaluation data shows like 97.5, 98% league-wide accuracy for umpires, which is super high. So there has to be some midpoint between them. That's why we exist, UEFLFX. That looked outside. Oh, it wasn't outside, it was low. Yeah, oh my god, maybe it was low and outside. It's easier to be an armchair ump when you can see the outline of the strike zone on TV. The strike zone on TV is so wildly inaccurate. We saw that when Pat Hobart called a perfect game in World Series Game 2, and the TV strike zone disagreed with him on several close pitches, yet the numbers post-game 
even on umpire scorecards, which is super hard on umpires, said that he had a perfect game. That's how you know the TV is inaccurate. And generally speaking, most of its inaccuracy is on the vertical strike zone. But yes, because of sig digs and all that stuff, you can also have horizontal inaccuracy on TV as well. Don't trust the TV box, kids. That's a strike. High strike. Yeah. I'm not surprised this 1950s whatever that is didn't work. That's a ball. It's outside. Hader, Hader Schwarber, though, is, 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 is this the Angel Hernandez ejection? Oh my gosh, it is! <laughs> I remember this being in the buffer zone and him being credited with the correct call. And Joe West, giving, who is retired, by the way, giving an interview to someone bemoaning how there are two separate strike zones. One, the public sees... One MLB is private and the umpires and executives see. And this is an example of one of those pitches that in MLB's internal system will have Angel with a correct call, but the public facing system has him with an incorrect call. That's a strike. Oh, I can understand why that was missed. And I think everyone here can. Look at the catcher. I'm going to catch her up here. I'm going to ca catch her down there. This is what's called an acceptable miss by MLB when they go back and review it because the catcher blocks out the umpire and catches it horribly. All right, I'm going to the World Series, apparently. I'm going to screw up the World Series more than Bill Haller, according to Earl Weaver. This was fun, although it was highly inaccurate. <laughs> and it sure makes the job sound a lot easier than it is. No catchers, no fans, no batters, no pit, no anything. Who knew? RoboUmp, where everything else is a simulation. Visit us online at CloseCallSports.com, Twitter and Facebook at CloseCallSports. Subscribe to YouTube, and we'll see you on the site.